Hey guys, it is Jess with Watch Kitty Shrink, and this video is going to be about restriction. If you have had weight loss surgery, you know what restriction is, so this video is going to be about mine. If you have not had weight loss surgery, restriction is, for me, the reason that I even had weight loss surgery. It is basically, it's very difficult to describe, but I guess the way I would describe it is, um, it is exactly, sorry, I keep scooting out of frame. It is exactly your stomach after weight loss surgery, how much food you can put in it. And for me, it's like the warning system that you're getting ready to eat too much. Now, that was the whole reason that I wanted to have weight loss surgery because I did have issues with um, the amount of food that I would eat. <clears throat> so basically, obviously, after weight loss surgery, you can eat a lot less. That's because your stomach is smaller. And for me, I always kind of got like a warning sign when I was getting ready to eat too much. Like it's a full tightness feeling. Like everybody feels full when they eat too much, but it feels very different. Or at least it did to me after weight loss surgery. And I would always get a warning sign. I used to call it like a punch to the gut because it would be like, no more bites. Okay, done, over. Have to stop, no eating around it. It's going to cause me physical pain if I eat one more bite. That's my restriction. Also to be noted, I am sure that most of you have heard of bariatric sounds. Um, is a sound that your stomach makes. I'm not sure why, but every bariatric patient I know talks about it. Your stomach just makes these strange, gurgling, very odd sounds. Um, I have always called my new tiny tummy Dino because I say it sounds like a baby dinosaur. Um, seriously, there are sometimes for no reason, my stomach will just roar. Okay. It's weird. So the reason I'm mentioning both of these things is because the, those things have changed for me since my weight loss surgery. I had my weight loss surgery in August of 2016. So I'm about three and a half years out. So at about the six month mark post-op, my restriction feeling went away. And then it came back at the nine month mark. Didn't really think much of it. So at the two and a half year mark, my restriction went away again. And it's been gone for like a year. Now let me explain. My restriction stuck around for a really long time. Um, basically up until the two year mark, I was only able to eat four ounces of anything. Um, four ounces of meat or two ounces of meat and two ounces of vegetables, whatever. I very much, when I eat, you could tell that I was eating differently than normal, okay? Um, like I couldn't finish one bunless burger. I couldn't finish anything that was on my plate. Well, at two and a half years, that restriction feeling went away and I was able to eat normal. Now, when I used to hear bariatric patients say that they could eat normal again, I would freak out because I thought they meant pre-weight loss surgery normal. So I thought I would go back to eating the extreme or being able to eat the extreme quantity of foods that I could eat before. Um, I mentioned this in my pre-op videos. Normal for me would be going to McDonald's, getting two double cheeseburgers, a 10-piece chicken nugget, and an order of fries and eating it all in one sitting, probably eating it all in like a five minute period done. So I was afraid if I didn't feel restriction anymore that I would eat like that. And that's not the case. When I say I was eating normal, I mean normal for a healthy person who did not have an eating problem. Um, I did not necessarily, my plate didn't look like a bariatric plate but it did look like a thin person's plate. So for example, if I went to Five Guys Burgers and Fries, I noticed I was able to eat the entire single patty cheeseburger with bacon. No fries, nothing like that, but I was able to eat the entire patty. Whereas, you know, months before, that wasn't the case. Or one of my favorite things to eat is the uh, Wendy's Grilled Chicken Caesar Salad. And I've been able to eat all of that, all of the meat, all of the um, vegetables in it, everything. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice, guys. Um, and that's just, that's just what it is. 
I was really relieved that I wasn't eating like a crazy person. That's how I describe myself. I'm sorry if that offends you. That's how I, how I ate before. I felt very, very out of control with my food. Sorry. I was sitting on my knees and it's just not going to work for me. Um, so, um, yeah, that feeling went away and I was really relieved that I was still eating what I considered a normal amount. And I really, like I noticed, you know, that I could finish my food, but I really didn't pay much attention to it. But also my bariatric sounds were gone. My stomach wasn't making any sort of weirdo noises. Um, nothing. No feeling that I was getting ready to eat too much other than just the full feeling that everybody gets. So, you know, I think all those years of eating smaller made my, you know, well, my stomach was shrunk surgically, but you know what I mean? Like my appetite for food just kind of naturally stayed at a normal. I hate saying that. You're not, not normal if you eat a lot, but Hopefully you grasp what I'm saying um, at what I felt was a normal amount still. The reason I'm bringing this up is that for the past three weeks, almost a month, both are back. My restriction and my weird bariatric belly noises. Um, and I don't know if they relate to each other, but I do think it's odd that they both showed back up. Um, now I'm noticing that if I get a bunless cheeseburger from Five Guys, I can eat three quarters of it and I'm getting that little punch warning signal in my stomach that's like, do not eat another bite. And I'm completely full in the way that only restriction felt like. Or if I get the Wendy's chicken, um, the half size Caesar salad, like I mentioned before, I can eat almost all of the chicken and not nearly, maybe three or four bites of the salad. Um, I have not weighed myself, so I don't know if that's going to correlate into weight loss. But for me personally, I am glad to have that feeling back because, again, that's the whole reason I had weight loss surgery in the first place was to have that feeling. Um, and I'm very proud to be a bariatric patient and having those weirdo sounds that I thought I hated come back and that restriction feeling makes me feel more like a bariatric patient. Um, so, yeah. Again, I don't know if it's going to correlate into any actual weight loss on the scale, but I know that I am glad that the feelings are back. Now, if I knew what was causing that, what made the restriction suddenly come back, I would be the most popular person on the internet, hands down. But I don't. Um, I know that there's a thing out there called the pouch reset that's supposedly supposed to shrink your stomach back to surgery amounts. I didn't do that. Um, and I want to be very clear that my restriction is still not what it was in the first year post-op. But it is just, to me, less than what I was eating a couple months ago. Um, and it's back to that tightness kind of feeling. Um, I will tell you some of the things that I'm doing with full disclosure that I have no idea if this is what is causing my um, restriction feeling to come back. Okay, so don't rush out and do it unless you're just wanting to experiment because I have zero clue if it has anything to do with it. Um, a lot of people ask me what that is. That is a gas heater and it just kicked on. Um, so anyway, I've started drinking protein shakes again. I went through a long time where I just could not make myself stomach them. But now every morning for the last month or so, I go to Starbucks, I get a double shot of espresso over ice and I pour a GNC lean shake over top of that. Um, I'm trying to hit my water every single day. I have upped my protein. As a keto person, I tried to keep moderate protein for a little while, and that's just not working for me. So now I'm basically just saying that I'm doing a, if it fits my macros, extremely low carb lifestyle, which means that I'm eating enough or less of enough, whatever. I'm not eating carbs, okay? <laughs> I'm eating enough whatever. I'm eating 20 carbs or less. Okay. So that is keto, but I'm not focusing on high fat and low protein or moderate protein. I'm definitely eating quite a bit of protein. So maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. 
but I do know that that's how bariatric people um, are supposed to eat for a while, and I've kind of gotten back to that, and uh, yeah, the restrictions there, my belly's making strange sounds, Dino's back, and uh, I'm just feeling good lately. So I just thought I would share that with you all. Um, I'm not trying to give you false hope. After the first year, your stomach never feels, you can't, you can eat more after the first year. And I'm not saying that my restrictions all the way back to that level, but I'm just glad it's back. And I'm feeling very bariatric lately. And I am proud of that. I'll see you all soon.